No benefit in hair density was observed in either group. No reports of adverse events were made. What does recent evidence on microneedling slash derma rolling suggest in 2023 as far as stimulating new hair growth if you are suffering from androgenetic alopecia and why the results of this study did not come out especially favorable compared to the past research on microneedling as we know it and what is the number one reason for it and kind of my conclusion and before we dive into the study just a quick shout out to our sponsor GoFiber these are hair building fibers you can use to mask any thinning or patchy areas on your scalp to make your hair look thicker and better so make sure you check out the link in the video description below where you can visit GoFiber get a free sample of your choice and try them out see if you like them so today we are looking at the study named efficacy and safety of scalp microneedling in male pattern hair loss. The study has been conducted in 2017 in Brazil but published in 2023. The interesting thing about this study is that it has been solely observing the response to microneedling for hair growth stimulation as a monotherapy. In this study they enrolled 30 subjects and they split them in like 50-50 in two groups. The first group uh, has been using Derma Roller 1.5 millimeter from uh, this company right here, Dr. Roller. It had 192 microneedles with 1.5 millimeter length. And the second group, other 15 subjects were using the microneedling device. It was actually a tattooing machine. It's being produced by a German company, MT derm in Berlin, Germany. And the study had a 16 week study period, so four months, and then another 16 more weeks, so another four months for evaluating additional like response after stopping the microneedling at four month mark. And then after eight months, they uh, reevaluated again how the subjects were able to retain the gains from microneedling for four more months while not doing any more microneedling. The microneedling therapy has been only utilized once every four weeks. The subjects were 18 years old and older. They are Norwood and Hamilton stage. The Norwood class was Norwood 3 with vertex thinning or greater and the duration of androgenetic alopecia diagnosis has been at least two years but for many of them uh, 10 years and more as we can see in this table one. So the hair measurements were taken at baseline so at the day one and then after four weeks and after 16 weeks of the last scalp microneedling session scalp coverage changes observed in clinical pictures taken before and after treatment were graded by three blinded evaluators using a standardized seven point rating scale minus three greatly decreased minus two moderately decreased minus one slightly decreased zero no change plus one slightly increased plus two moderately increased and plus three greatly increased hair density was analyzed through dermoscopy pictures taken from 0.79 square inch clipped area more or less uh, five square centimeter uh, target area that has been tracked they use trichoscan technology for analyzing the hair regrowth and hair thickening. One more important criteria before they started uh, including those subjects in the study was uh, to make them withdraw from using finasteride and minoxidil for at least six months prior to starting the study uh, up to 12 months. And so that's very important because in such case that could definitely distort the results of this microneedling only study. On the left we can see the derma rolling group and on the right we can see the microneedling group where they use the automated device for uh, microneedling. Now ideally you would want to see most of the columns being very tall in this area where the numbers show one two or three because that would mean people would be actually getting at least slight moderate or great improvement in hair thickness in or hair density. The problem is most people are actually in this area which is zero minus one minus two or minus three and that 
is for both groups unfortunately so what does it mean it means that most people enrolled in this study actually seen no response to microneedling as a monotherapy for hair thickening or hair regrowth or they have actually seen slight worsening or moderate worsening now obviously if you sum up those numbers after 16 weeks like two three and two you'll come on to like seven and uh, if you sum up uh, five three and one you will get nine that means that only seven out of 15 patients uh, they were able to follow up on after 16 weeks and nine out of 15 patients they were able to follow up on in the microneedling device group now as far as the efficacy summary in this study as far as scalp coverage improvement among the responders only two patients in the roller group and one in the microneedling device group sustained an improvement on the last follow-up visit so among 30 subjects we are only able to see like two patients in one group and one patient in the other group so like 10 percent of guys are seeing uh, you know sustained improvement uh, on the follow-up visit after eight month mark so that's pretty poor now let's talk about hair density neither group presented an improvement in total hair count after four monthly sessions of scalp microneedling when analyzed as a whole all patients presented a decrease in hair density after four and 16 weeks of last treatment session but the difference did not reach statistical significance Decrease in hair density was more pronounced in the derma roller group compared to the cartridge or microneedling device group after 16 weeks of the last microneedling session. Response to treatment did not depend on the Hamilton Norwood stage, so it didn't really matter if the guy was like Norwood 3 or Norwood 5, it seems like this didn't play a role in the response rate. Now, as far as the safety profile, that's interesting. They didn't report, fortunately, any local infection, any erythema, which would be like redness, edema, seborrheic dermatitis, itching, nothing like that. Uh, however, the average pain score on the visual analog scale during the procedure was 6.75 that's actually quite a lot here it's more than like the middle five out of ten on the pain scale but it's more like close to seven which isn't little pain okay it's actually like pain that it's quite to be felt okay so that's surprising now what's the final verdict for all of you guys who are using microneedling with minoxidil and it's working for you well i would still keep using that unless you can get your hands on uh, minoxidil that is containing a uh, tretinoin in such case it could potentially replace that microneedling function and make you still a good responder to minoxidil without needing to microneedle every week or every 10 days and for all of you guys who are using microneedling as a monotherapy and you're seeing results I would keep on using this uh, device whether it's a derma roller or a microneedling device of any type but if you have not seen results while regularly microneedling in such case it would be more wise to explore other ways of either stimulating new hair growth hair thickening or ways to prevent further hair loss with that being said that was it from me for this video for more info about my one-on-one -on -one consulting services check out the link in the video description below where you can learn more about how i can help you reach your hair goals faster more efficiently without trial and error bad mistakes costing you stress money and time utilizing hair loss treatments hair transplants or scalp micropigmentation that was it from me everybody and see you in another video take care